One of the things that we wanted to offer for our Cubase and Nuendo customers is a direct file exchange with WaveLab. And this is going to work in a very practical, bi-directional manner. So let's take a listen to our project that we have here. So it's a uh, solo, double bass, and piano. And let's say we're at the point where we're happy with the mix and we're very satisfied and we wanted to do our export audio mix down to prepare for our CD or uh, online release. So at this point, I would go to the file menu, select export, audio mix down. We can give the file a name, choose a path where the file will be saved to. And at the bottom, we see this post process option. And here we could choose open in WaveLab Pro 9. At this point, I will choose export. And as the file is being written to our path, it'll now automatically launch WaveLab Pro 9 and load the file in. So if we go to listen to it, Now let's say if I closed the project in Cubase, we'll just go ahead and close the project here. And let's say we're happy with how everything turned out uh, and we're listening to it now. And we think that maybe an element can be fixed in mastering such as bringing the piano up if needed or bringing the bass down. But let's say we realize that we need to really fix it appropriately in the multi-track version in Cubase or Nuendo. So if we choose from the audio editor, choose the edit tab, we can actually just click right here to edit project. And once we do that, it's going to automatically open up that project directly back in Cubase so that I can make my tweaks here to make my adjustments. So what you have is a very practical and useful bi-directional communication where the information is automatically exported to WaveLab with information of the actual project. So you can just simply load that project back up and make tweaks where necessary so that you can do the right type of edits to come up with a solution to the problem. So you can see that the direct file exchange and the WaveLab exchange is a great feature for speeding up your workflow. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.